Today, the Food and Drug Administration took the extraordinary step of ordering the nation's blood banks to begin screening for Zika, even in places where the virus is not present. Zika can cause severe birth defects, and to date, there have been nearly 2,500 infections in the U.S. linked to travel to countries affected by the outbreak. 42 were locally transmitted in Florida, most likely from mosquitoes. Dr. Tara Narula is a CBS News medical contributor, and I guess the first question up is, why has the FDA called for a nationwide testing? These are updated recommendations that come from the recommendations in February, and it comes in the light of new scientific evidence and the fact that we're learning more and more about Zika and how it's transmitted. We know it's transmitted sexually now. We know the devastating consequences that it can have on pregnant women, and now we have an expanding area in Florida of locally transmitted infections. In in fact, there has been one case identified of infected blood in Florida. Now, it's no danger to the blood supply, but certainly that just shines a light on the fact that this is something we need to be doing now. And what's going to be involved in setting this up? There's no question that it's going to be a challenge to get this implemented in such a quick time frame. The recommendation has been that 11 states implement this process within four weeks, and mm -hmm. New York is one of those states. And for the rest of the country, within 12 weeks, it's going to require resources and planning and funding. And yet again, one more reason for Congress to really take action when they come back into session on making sure that we have the resources and funding we need to implement this on a wide-scale basis. Dr. Narula, thank you for the information.